joined with the UNI head track and field coach Dave Paulson here on Panther Sports Talk as the outdoor track and field season is underway. And coach, uh, you had your first weekend of competition under your belt, but let's rewind to the start of March where you're coming off the Missouri Valley Conference indoor championships, the men with a third place finish, and you had two individual champions and a number of all conference performers. I know a, a lot of kids redshirted in that indoor season weren't able to go, but how did you feel uh, your kids performed at that indoor championships? I was really pleased with the overall competitive effort of the teams on both sides. And, um, you know, it was one of those things, we didn't have a lot of champions, but we had a, a ton of people making finals, um, just really battling in those fifth to third spots. And uh, just, you know, you, you can only ask them to have a championship caliber effort and attitude. Uh, and they really did that. I was really pleased with, with where we're at at the end of the indoor season and, and really looking forward to like, take some momentum into the outdoor season. And so, you know, the champions we had was Katie Stevens in the in the multi-event and the pentathlon. She did a terrific job. Uh, and then Spencer Cashel, true freshman, in the in the shot put was able to win a conference title which is really special uh, and rare for a true freshman in the shot put to take home the title so that was a lot of fun to see to start with katie stevens here because she got competition underway here in the outdoor season uh, went down south put up a, a big mark uh, in the multis for the outdoor season to get her year off uh, to a good yeah start. she did a she did a terrific job down there um kind of short turnaround from the indoor season and just you know you're always battling the elements outside as you transition from indoors to outdoors in the midwest and uh, she did a really nice job she pr'd i think in all of her running events uh, minus the 800 and then also had a big PR in the long jump and so once she really pieces it all together she's gonna put up a really big score uh, but I think that trip was really important for her development just to kind of figure out how to, to manage uh, travel with a, a bigger field with some some women that are really outstanding in that those events as well so uh, really pleased with what she did certainly using that indoor title to uh, to her advantage to kick off the outdoor season uh, true freshman Spencer Kessel in the shot put he went down south as well put up some big marks as he gets his first outdoor season underway yeah Spencer I mean he had such a great indoor season uh, you know the the trip to Texas was as much um, just learning how to manage a big meet situation and where you have to have three throws that are really quality uh, to make the next round and so he didn't make the finals down there but we think at the end of the day uh, that's gonna be something he can lean into a little bit more with that experience and knowing that you know you get in those big competitions uh, you're not guaranteed anything and uh, he still put up a really good mark uh, well over 17 meters and so uh, outstanding trip for him to just develop overall and be ready for what the outdoor season has to bring. Also in the field events, Brennan Safley, he went down south and competed in two meets in the pole vault, and he was coming off of indoor championships where he was in a heated battle for that conference crown. Yeah, he's done uh, such a great job um, from where he was at just two years ago to where he's at now. Um, over 17 feet, real consistently all the time. And so for him, again, that trip to Texas, uh, being in those big competitions in which you have to wait maybe 15 minutes between jumps. And so that's going to pay big dividends when he gets to the championship meets like the regional meet and the NCAA championships. And Brennan Safley starting the outdoor season 16 feet 11 inches in his first weekend of competition. We have plenty more coming up here with you and I had track and field coach Dave Paulson. 15 individual champions at a meet up in Waverly, Iowa. We'll talk about that coming up next. The Strategic Play of the Week brought to you by Strategic Imaging, your one-stop shop for print marketing, signage, apparel, and promotional items.